Today's event uh, was looking at adapting to the landscape of blockchain, fintech and initial coin offerings. And my main message is really that technology isn't new uh, and some of these technologies have been with us for arguably some time now but what we are now seeing is a huge pace of change and accelerating scales of their use and so actually my main message today is actually for professional accountants we really need to be aware and keep up to date with these developments to make sure that we're able to be that trusted business advisor and business partner uh, to our clients to our customers but also to the wider public so all of these technologies bring with them great opportunities uh, but they also bring risks and we need to manage how we uh, handle those risks to allow innovation but also to protect ultimately the consumer. For us, for stakeholders uh, in the EU, especially in Brussels, uh, it's very important that we think broadly, deeply and sometimes uh, differently about the toughest issues we are facing today. One of these toughest issues uh, is related to fintech and blockchain that we are going to discuss today. EY is very keen to facilitate uh, that technology leaders and uh, regulators uh, have regular discussions in order to ask uh, better questions, uh, in order to find better solutions. When we did a similar conversation a year ago, a lot of the concerns were about things like, is the technology going to work properly? Is it scalable? When I look at where we are today, it's much more about people aren't wondering whether it's scalable. People are wondering whether once it's scaled, it can be managed properly regulation, governance, risk, um, and I think we're at a very exciting place right now. I think if we can get this bit right, then it can really be mainstreamed as a technology. So I think we have everything to play for at this point in time. The European Commission uh, just adopted the fintech communication uh, three weeks ago. This is really a priority for the Commission and we've, wor we've been working on these issues uh, since the fintech task force was set up, so basically more than one year ago. We have launched a broad public consultation last year and based on this consultation we are proposing a number of measures to ensure that fintech can scale up the uh, European market. So this uh, communication wants really to enable technology to, 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 raise, to rise in the financial sector and of course we don't want to, uh, to lose our financial stability or a high level of uh, consumer protection, but we think that a number of measures are necessary to ensure our sector remains competitive. Increasingly people are aware that blockchain technology holds a tremendous promise when it comes to uh, organizing decentralized uh, economies, systems and applications. Right. So peers can lend computing power, storage power, uh, other services to others without intermediaries. Uh, but what people don't realize is that uh, the ecosystem is still fragile and very young and needs to be protected. Uh, so it's much more important for governments and regulators to set the stage for um, fostering innovation as opposed to regulating it right away. The important point for today is that the banking sector is, uh, a, by definition, an innovative sector. It has, financial innovation has been, in, in the context of uh, banking, uh, one of the major activities uh, for many, many years. The fact that we now have uh, new technologies is just another way of uh, delivering this uh, uh, innovation. The important point is also that uh, banks uh, will uh, are the best partners of of uh, startups. Uh, startups uh, have uh, ideas, uh, banks have uh, the size, the capabilities, the services, the balance sheet uh, to support the capital uh, investments. I think cooperation is going to be very important. And the last point is a critical uh, aspect is regulation of uh, these type of activities uh, in the financial sector is very important. Level playing field uh, is uh, uh, an important requirement for all of this to be successful for the consumers and for the users. And my main message is twofold actually. The first message is about blockchain itself, where we at Beehive uh, work a lot with banks and insurers to make sure uh, best practices are being created around this promising technology. And we're also mindful of the hurdles we'll still need to address in terms of data privacy and scalability. That's my first message. Second one is Beehive being an innovation platform in Europe uh, our main goal is to create and strengthen the innovation ecosystem in Europe and to do so uh, Beehive is, is uh, reaching out to other uh, fintech up in Europe um, so that we can improve and, and uh, the, the, the support we give to innovators uh, in financial services in Europe.
My, my main message would be that as independent auditors, we play a, a key role to bring trust and confidence to the business community, to the investors and the market at large. Uh, through blockchain uh, technology and uh, crypto assets, uh, we see several opportunities and challenges. Among these challenges, uh, we touch, uh, for example, around security of uh, private keys and notes. We touch also about valuation and classification issues of these uh, digital currencies. And we also uh, discuss about uh, issues triggered around anti-money laundering and financing of terrorism. Finally, uh, I think uh, we believe as uh, independent auditors, we try to adapt our audit techniques and tools to be able to provide this confidence and we work uh, hard to develop new generation of assurance services in this future ecosystem.